Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update on my sim pit here. Made some updates here recently. I was able to pick up a Win Wing Super Taurus throttle, and then that kind of pushed me to design the rest of the side consoles and the vertical wall side. Built the front panel about a year and a half ago. Uh, just never really got around to making the consoles, but uh, getting the Win Wing really kind of uh, made it a little easier to do that, so I went ahead and did it. Just about everything is 3D printed. Um, the idea was always to make a VR pit, so everything is not exactly one-to-one, -one, but you know it's close enough when you reach out uh, to touch stuff, it's pretty much where you think it should be. So my PC here, we've got an NVIDIA 3090 Founders Edition, a Ryzen 9 5900X processor and 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, runs it pretty well. Uh, for rudders, I'm using the Thrustmaster TPRs, and if you have those and you haven't done the damper mod there, as you can see, I highly recommend it. Just drastically changes the feel of the pedals. Um, so there I'm using the Reverb G2 for uh, the VR headset and then I've got a, a butt kicker mounted on the bottom of the, the chair there and uh, the QSC amp to powers that and then I've got an old home theater receiver that I use to power a sub and the, the speakers for the, the world audio. So here's a quick little view of the right side console. Um, again, like I say, it was just trying to get everything in the right place when you reach out to grab it. Uh, things are where you are. Uh, I've got a Leo Bodner uh, boards controlling this. I believe there's two in this right side here uh, to control all the functions there. Uh, the front panel, like I say, I made about a year and a half ago. It's uh, made with four Arduino controllers in there and three of the, the Thrustmaster Cougar MFDs. And again, like I say, it's not everything's not exactly right, but it's close enough that in VR, you know, you can reach out and, and things are where you expect. Uh, for the stick, I'm using a Verpal uh, CM2. 3D printed extension and the Thrustmaster Hornet grip. And here's a quick little overview of the left side. Again, you can see I've got the uh, the wind wing there and then the, the back part of the console controls here actually mount to the wind wing throttle. Ejection seat handle there. Uh, there's a quick little shot of the butt kicker underneath. So again, pretty happy with the way it turned out. It was a, a lot of work, a lot of design time. A lot of time on a 3D printer. Uh, everything was made with just an Ender, th Ender 3. Um, I do have a, a post in the uh, Eagle Dynamics forums on the on all the files of the center panel there. So if you guys want to take a shot at that, uh, feel free to go download those files. If there's enough interest, I may post the ones for the consoles as well. Uh, definitely need to do some, some cable management here. Haven't really figured out a good way to clean this stuff up kind of between the all the AV stuff and the... Um, computer there but for the most part I, I try to tuck away and uh, bundle everything up uh, the best I could so I did want to give you a quick little demo of kind of how some of the controls work in the game uh, just about everything is wired in uh, I ran out of controls on a couple of the boards so there's a, a couple of switches and dials that aren't in but uh, stuff that you don't necessarily use so here's the parking brake And the controls on the right side console. Tried the best I could to get the, the movements the, the way they needed to be. And then here's the landing gear. And I did go ahead and design in the uh, emergency function here, so you can see the, the twist and pull actually works uh, as it does in the game. And the select jet. Then I do fly helos, so the, the wind wing and that uh, aft portion of the console do come off. And then uh, I've got a Verpal Collective that can mount there as well. Uh, looking forward to the Apache coming out. So 
I did want to keep the pit a little flexible to be able to swap back and forth between the Hornet and a Hilo. So I am pretty happy with the way that the mount came out there to be able to swap the wind wing and the collective. I do fly with an online group called Virtual Carrier Strike Group 3. Our website is just vcsg3.com. Uh, check us out. If you're looking for a group to fly with, we'd love to have you. We're always looking for new folks to fly with. There's links to our Discord server on the website. Hope you guys enjoyed this today, and I hope it inspires you to, you know, possibly branch out and build some controls of your own. Really kind of helps you get the most enjoyment possible out of DCS.